Welcome back. So when it comes to macOS 26, today we have a new software update that you can see, and this is the developer beta 2. On my MacBook Pro, the update size comes in at exactly 4.13 gigs, updating from beta 1, of course. And since this is not all that Apple released, they released beta 2 versions of watchOS 26, VisionOS 26, tvOS 26, macOS 26, of course, iOS and iPadOS 26 beta 2 versions all these i cover here so definitely do hit like and subscribe to keep up to date now i'll just update my device and then we'll look at some of the new features and changes that this new update has to offer just like that my device has now been updated you're actually going to see a pop-up screen to tell you that your device has been updated and at the same time there's a new welcome to mac screen that is now more prominent with the words welcome. I wasn't able to capture it, but it's something that's here. And at the same time, if we go into our settings right here and go to about this Mac, you can see that now Apple has added the official Mac OS Taho icon right there. You can actually get it from the system files, but you can see instead of just saying Mac OS, it now says Mac OS Taho. And then at the same time, if you go to my notifications tab right here, just like what we have on iOS and watchOS, when your Mac is now up to date, it will tell you that your Mac has been updated and you can actually click and be able to see details and this screen is actually going to open up the software update screen and you can see there that your Mac is up to date. Just to show you more information about this, if we go to the storage and to see how much Mac OS is taking, just to see if it's anything abnormal, you can see it's slightly increased about 2 gigs, 24.63 and then if we click on the more info tab, you can see the build number and Apple intelligence as well increased by 1 gig to 13.02 gigs if you look at my battery widget the moment i click on it and start dragging it it sort of loses its transparency or liquid glass feature but it's not as strong as it was before and if i put it just right there you can see how it sort of fades in the background if i was to drop it maybe somewhere right here you can see how it perfectly reflects the color here and you can see there's a reflection right there and this just goes to show a minor improvement it's not a major one but one worth highlighting also if you look at the dock icons you can see apple has made another minor change when it comes to the way they fade into the background it's not as prominent as before and this improves readability in a slight way and at the same time there's users saying that this icon changed as well when it comes to the controls but for me it looks more or less the same maybe it's the mac OS the whole wallpaper that i have but yeah you can see how it looks for me and at the same time one of the biggest change that this update actually brings forward is finder so they have actually improved finder in a big way and you can see how the icon looked before on mac os 26 beta 1 and now this is how it looks on mac os 26 beta 2 so they've brought back the perfect color combinations that mac users are basically used to and at the same time when it comes to the finder icon they've updated the version so now it's version 26.0 before it was 16.0 so it's kind of a big jump right there and one of the other change that finder introduces when you go into like for example the different folders when it's a subfolder now they've improved the way the folder looks and now when you also change the colors the shades have sort of changed in a way i don't know how to explain it but it's good to see that this is carried forward i actually should look into this and maybe set different colors for different functions if you go to the settings and go to menu bar there's an option that has now been added that says show menu bar background and you can see how basically the menu bar icons look on the top section right there this is with it disabled and then when i enable it you can see how they have this like border or tint behind it just to help you be able to see the different icons and then if i switch it off you can see how the icons just look like they are floating 
but if you have maybe visibility issues or you wanted it to be the old way then this is how you can set it for me i actually think i like it this way when the icons are floating it makes me feel like i have a bigger screen also when it comes to the screenshot and screen recording apple has slightly improved the screen recording animation it looks slightly different and it seems to work much faster and better as well with this update when it comes to safari there's a minor change that has been added and just to show you the version that's here version 26 with this build number that you see and if you look at the way the different tabs are this is the start page you can see when i'm now on that specific tab you can see the rest have like a black underlying bar that's showing that they are not selected and if i was to select like x for example you can see how the rest turn for us to select like youtube you can see how the rest transition or maybe for us to select view stats you can see how this has now changed a number of users had complained about the mail app not working properly and you can see the version that i'm on right now it's version 16 with this build number that you see right there there was an issue initially i had to actually relaunch this application twice to get it to be able to work properly but for me i can say say that it's working and I'm getting my notifications which is good so if you had an issue maybe you might want to power cycle your device or maybe re-log into your mail app to be able to give it a chance to maybe see if it will work properly if you go into the new app section which you know I don't really like it will take some time to get used to I want I want uh, or I would prefer launchpad back but you can see what we have it's like a floating window and you can actually drag it side to side or somewhere and uh, I'm yet to find a way to make it full screen but you can see when it comes to the migration app assistant we actually have a new app icon that has been added i did do a whole video when it comes to the different app icons how they look and compare with the previous mac os version so if you want to see that video i'll leave it maybe in the description of this video so that you can check them out yourself but just know that this migration app icon has also been changed when you're logging into a website or a application that has saved password the pop-up screen has been updated you can see how the toggle now looks i'll blur this just for privacy reasons but yeah this window has been improved just to quickly show you some of the release notes that apple mentions here for sequoia um oh sorry for Teho 20 mac os 26 beta 2 you can see new feature mentioned right there with the recovery assistant is a new way to recover your device if it doesn't start up automatically and you can see here there's a new feature for app store in the accessibility section this was actually existing in beta 1 there's an apple intelligence feature that improves frameworks there's also other known issues that and resolved issues that apple mentions most of these are carried over from the previous version of beta 1 but other than that that's how this update came in for me on my m1 pro macbook pro so if you like this video leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one